Hello and welcome to the AWS Cost Optimization Series. In this episode, we are going to learn about well-architected reviews. So at AWS, we have what we call the Well-Architected Framework. This is a collection of up-to-date best practices compiled and maintained by AWS that you can use to evaluate your architectures and then get recommendations on how you can improve them to make the most of AWS. The process of using the Well-Architected Framework to evaluate your solutions is what we call the Well-Architected Review. Makes sense, right? When you are conducting a Well-Architected Review, you can choose to include one or more pillars. These are specific domains focused on things such as operational excellence, performance efficiency, security, reliability, sustainability, and of course, cost optimization. You can conduct a well-architected review very easily by uh, using the AWS Well-Architected tool. This will ask a series of questions based on the pillar uh, being evaluated at the time, and the answers will be used to identify areas of improvement and make recommendations. So let's have a quick look. Here I am on the well-architected dashboard. And as you can see, I got two workloads defined. I got demo one and demo two. Demo one, we have actually finished this review. We have answered 52 out of 52 questions, but demo two, we only have one. That's fine. You can take your time uh, with these reviews. Hopefully, the sooner the better, because you may have critical things that you may need to improve. However, you can share this review with your colleagues and everyone can contribute with answers to make sure you have a thorough review. And then you can get together with your teams and your colleagues or even your assigned AWS solution architect if you have one to go over the results. So in this case, we are going to go into the demo one. And here on the dashboard, we can see we already have identified a few risks. But let's go into the review. Um, and here is where we can see the questions being asked. And every question is asked in plain English. And uh, next to every question and every answer, you have this very handy info link that gives you very detailed information about what this means and clarifies for you what is being asked. Now, you can scroll up here and, ch and change your pillars. So we are going to choose cost optimization. And this will give us the cost optimization questions. And once you are done answering all these questions, what you're going to end up with is um, the results, much like we were looking at in the demo one dashboard. So let's go back there. And as we can see, we have a few high risks, 31 and five medium risks. If we click here, we get a list of all the high risks that have been identified. Uh, we can then filter by pillar. We're going to filter by cost optimization. And then we're going to get all the um, improvements and, and recommendations um, that are being recommended to us by the tool. So for example, this gives us a list of deep links that we can follow to get detailed explanations and recommendations, not only about technology, but also about process and everything that you should do to make sure that your workloads and solutions are as cost optimized as possible. Thank you very much. I hope you have learned something new today. Keep on learning and keep on building on AWS.